live from 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Hey, this is the STS Pod Club production. I'm BT. And to the, to the right of me, right? To the right, I'm the left. To the right of me, my co host with the most, Rhino JB. How the hell are you, brother? I'm doing good. Another Saturday, another blessing. How are you? Oh, real, real crazy. This is week 29. Can, can you believe it? Week 29. We have been sitting down here every week putting a, together a show, uh, letting everybody either they're loving us or hating us. Uh, we don't really care. We just tell us honest opinion every week. Uh, I also want to put over real quick. This is episode 292. That's right. 292. So we're we're coming up to 500. We'll have all kinds of details about the big 500 coming big 500 coming out. Uh I'm excited about it. Uh this week though, we had the Dynamite show on Monday which was the live report. Um what did you did you see the uh the AEW pay-per-view? I did. What did you think about because my my co-host Lance was there live. All his friends there, all four of them, were not, they did not like the punk match. I didn't care for it either. Actually, oh I've been getting God. a lot of, Oh my I, God. <laughs> he, I didn't care for it either. I, I thought that Darby Allen did a great job of carrying that match and selling it, but punk didn't do anything that made me say, oh, this is why I missed him. But I have this theory that people don't care to see punk wrestle, they care to hear him talk on the microphone. But that's just my that theory. might be it, yeah. But uh, they were there live. Uh, we got uh, actually, I don't know if the the Wrestling Observer always puts out the star rating. He put out his star rating either today or it was late last night. Him in California, it's a different. He gave it three and three fourths. That's pretty much where I like I liked it to be. Mm-hmm. I didn't give any stars at all because I just watched the show without. Uh, I think maybe I don't know. I really love the show, the show, and I love the match. And I think it's because I miss CM Punk so much, and I love Darby Allen. And it was kind of like a fan, but I thought it was a well put together match. There's also a lot of video uh, going on <laughs> uh, around. If you go back and watch a Bret Hart one two three kid match, yeah, it's the same match. Very similar things that they did together. Uh, both matches I liked a lot. So uh, let me also say that we did a tribute to Bobby Eaton. I'm getting a lot of uh, – you did a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you is all I can say. Uh, tribute to Bobby Eaton. We're Bobby's friend who Bobby actually lived with uh, huge amounts of his life after he went, uh, quit the Midnight Express and kind of retired. Uh, Brian Thompson, who helped me start this podcast, really good show. This Monday we got the record store coming – and we got part of them. We're going to talk about this a little bit later. And you can see the graphic down here, STS Pod Skim Timber. That's Skim Timber. We'll talk about that. Some uh, Follow us on social media so you'll tell when the episodes are coming up, out. Let's get started with the show. Man, we do hits. We do this roundtable thing. Hits, misses, MVP. What do you look forward to the most? And thumbs up or thumbs down. Been doing it. This is week 29, as I said. JB, what were your hits? My hits this week, Skyler's debut. I thought it was good. Debuting in the ring with a lot of uh a lot of drama, a lot of energy. I like this for the women's division. A fresh face coming through and uh adding a little a little fire to the women's division and that women's championship. So I can't wait to see what happens next with that. I thought Van Vicious skits. These Van Vicious <laughs> skits are getting good, baby. That was a hit for me. My man is hitting on double B, but he should be with single B. That's a triple B. Shout out to Jay-Z. That's a Jay-Z. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, that confused me. But what, what the <laughs> hell? Go ahead. Shout out to Jay Z. Best, I thought this was the best promo that we got from Austin Lane. Austin Lane cut that promo, wanting to face Tumor, and man, I was buying it. I believe it. I think that Austin Lane, you know, he proves he's the best of the best and giving people an opportunity. But Tumor, he wants to injure people, and that's not what Austin Lane's about. And he wants to go one on one with this guy. I want to see that match. I need to see the end result. Also, another hit for me: Derek King in that ring and hitting that super kick. I thought he looked great. I can't wait to see more from him. All right, man, your hits. Uh, Van Bitch is coming off real – I feel kind of dirty when I'm done watching those videos. <laughs> uh, I think I need – you know, come on, guys. We need a, We need a, uh, some kind of sponsor to help us with the soap, guys. Come on. Uh, <laughs> my hits, I'm going to go right with you with Skylar. Here's what I like about Skylar. Well, 
there's a lot of things I like about Skylar. But one thing I do like about her is that she's got – all of a sudden, she's got a ton of heat within three weeks with just coming out, now just doing something, jumping somebody. And now, as the match started, it's like, let them go, let them go, let them fight. And you don't know why you're saying that, but there's something there with her – not excellent in the ring, but she's got some kind of presence that makes you want to watch her. I like that part about it. I like the big brawl with the posse uh, in the Hollywood uh, Horror Show. I like all of that. Uh, I loved uh, Hollywood Jimmy's telling Dustin he hated him. Uh, for some reason, that was hilarious to me. Uh, Dustin also got in trouble. Did you see Dustin said something about it? He was looking into Scholar. And uh, I, I, said, bet I bet you, you were, I Dustin. bet you were, Dustin. Yeah, yeah, we got quiet all of a sudden. Uh, Danny B, uh, kind of trying to form a team. I, I kind of, I love the way this has progressed. And I was like, what is he trying to be his buddy for? But if you listen to all the commentary, you'll understand what's going on. He's trying to be his friend, blah, blah, blah. I like that. I really do. Uh, and at the very end, we had Alan Steele. Uh, and that interview was so good, as usual. Good on the mic. A lot of stuff going on at the very end. I like the end. That really reminded me the very end of, of uh, Memphis, old Memphis wrestling with all the brawling and everything. We mentioned something last week. Country Rock is what we mentioned is one of our hits. That was the name of the team, Country Rock. And it's Chris Hayes. I think I said Eric Hayes, and I said something about Connor. Remember, Connor's beat up and still missing. Uh, I called and talked to his parents. We still don't know where Connor is. Uh, Chris Hayes and Carter Matthews, who actually about three or four weeks ago were on the show as a tag team, uh, but now they're going to uh, form a tag team and try to be successful in what to do with a tag team name. One of them's rock and roll, one of them's country. Uh, country rock. It'll be fun. Chris, I know a little bit about Chris. Chris, excellent. Really good wrestler. Uh, Carter is uh, – is uh, every time I see him, he improves. I've seen him uh, wrestle. Actually, Nikki Lane in Newport did a real good job. So, be interesting. We have another team with a team name. I like that kind of stuff. All right, misses. What about you, uh, Rhino? Any misses this week? My miss this week was actually one of your hits, Danny B. Good and Derek King. I um, – I completely, when you explained it like that, when you listen to the commentary and that Danny B. Good has actually been trying to be friends with Derrick King. So, okay, I looked at it more. My perception of it was he was trying to get an answer from him. Why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't, why aren't we speaking? Why won't you address me? And we never got an answer for why that was. They just were speaking backstage with each other as friends. I agree. There was a li- I, I'm going a little bit there. I'm telling my own story, I think. But until if you listen to all the commentary, I agree 100%. At first, I did not. I, I was like, what the hell just happened? We got Danny B and Derek uh, backstage. But if you listen to the commentary, if you throw all that together, it actually makes sense. But you have to throw it all together. with du- Listen to what Dustin says about the story. For sure, for sure. I think I just was disappointed that we didn't get that bridge to. Okay, how did they start talking when they when when he walked in the room? Right, and right. Derek King was there. How did he address him? Um, I think just missing that little bit right there, and I, it was leaning more toward more so towards that they were going to have a match together. It seemed like it seemed like there was going to be. Well, they had that match on Saturday night, remember? And he made yeah. a comment about that. We didn't really see that, but he walked away. Right. Derek super kicked him and walked away. It really didn't finish the match. So that's – that's. I know. There was a stress there. I agree 100%. I'm just yeah. telling you that's what they're trying to get. I think they should have done a video piece, and they may do one, where we go from A to B uh, to Z, uh, and we kind of see what's going on. But, yeah, I can see where that's a miss, yeah. But I will also say that I do like the pairing. I think the pairing is great, even with uh, Danny B telling Derrick King in the in the match, no, don't do the power drop. Don't do it. Having somebody right there keeping his, his head on straight, man, that's a that's a beautiful team right there. I agree 100%. Both guys are uh, – I'm a fan of both guys. Like I said, I've worked backstage with both of them. Professionals, uh, Danny B is uh, one of those guys. I've never worked anything with Danny. Derrick, I have. Uh, but – both of the guys just professional backstage. Uh, my business, I want to ask you something, and it may be my TV, but everything looked a little darker around the interview booth. Is that was that true, or am I just 
Am I just mm. thinking it was a little darker? Or it, it, it just looked a little darker to me. It does on the on the YouTube, too. I'm just looking at YouTube right now. Yeah. Everything looked a little darker around the interview booth, and I don't know why. Uh, you know what? I just I, I understand, and this is this is kind of my big miss, is I understand why we finished the tag team match the way we finished the tag team match with the kendo sticks, and they got tired of – blah, 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 and a DQ so that the Allied Forces will get a new uh, a tag team match. That was the That's the reason why. I understand it. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't like the finish. I think, I hate to say this, I just didn't like the Young Bo Goats match this week because it was a total different pacing. I'm so used to the Young Goats, the taking the heat, getting the hot tag, boom, boom, boom. And then when it slowed down, it never picked up again. And so I, it was just a Total miss for me. I hope to see these guys, uh, you know, that their second match may be better. But to me, it was just just all of a sudden we slowed. Down. Nothing wrong with the match. Get, don't, let me go back. Nothing really wrong with what they did. I think I just, when I, they say young goats, I look for something totally different than what they did today. All right. Before we get into uh, MVP, let me tell you about, it's on there, the STS pod skim timber. One lucky winner, winner, you have to be a Patreon member, or we have this big promo going with Cash App. You see that? Cash is the cash sign, the dollar sign, B-T-S-T-S. If you give us $5, you'll get a turn on the wheel. That's $5. If you've never used the Cash App, never used it, you use that code and you'll get $5. So it's almost like you enter the contest for free. Uh, there's a T-shirt. We'll give away a wrestling mask. There's wrestler buddies. There's You see those tag team toys over there, belts, the tag team title belts. You'll get a call from the Skimahorns, a call from them. Uh, they'll either do a promo on you or say, hey, there's all kinds of stuff, over $100, and all you got to do with Cash App is 5 bucks. All right, buddy, what, who was your MVP? My MVP this week were actually the Young Goats. What we saw differently, I feel like what we saw differently from them this week was aggression, was that uh, we're, we're not here to play around. We're here to be tag team champions and remain tag team champions, and we're not taking any mess from anybody. I think last week Aaron Roberts said, look, anybody who wants some, come get some. And we see how they were treated. They came back this week. It wasn't about wrestling. It wasn't about hot tags. It was about getting revenge. And so though they're champions – I don't think they're trying to be your uh, cookie cutter champions in the sense of, all right, let's have a wrestling match and let's finish this. I think, hey, look, if you guys are trying to scrap, we can step in that ring, but don't be surprised when we're ready to scrap back with you. I like that attitude from them. I liked a little bit different, but like you said, they shine in tag team wrestling and with that pace that they have. So hopefully, I'm hoping we get that built up uh, in the near future, but they're my MVP this week. All right, you got the young goats, and, and I can see where you know I, I see where you went there. I really like what you said. Uh, I'm the opposite. I'd rather see, <laughs> I'd rather see them not in the ring doing that. Like I said, nothing yeah. wrong with the match. This is the fan of me saying this right. is what I like. The young goats. My MVP is going to be Eugene, and why? Because of I know it's all a storyline, but he set up all those matches, and you almost had oh my, we've got a trios match coming. Uh, that's Hey, let me just tell you, Ronald JV, that's the cool way of saying six man tag now. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, so, okay. trios. Okay. Can you? Trios. Trio. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Trio. Uh, trios match. Uh, Eugene against Johnny Dodson, which will be all comedy. It'll be fun stuff. Uh, and then a triple threat we have with uh, uh, putting a title on the line with Alan Steele, Mike Anthony. And uh, the gun show should be fun, should be fun. Uh, trios match should be really fun. I, I can't wait to see what they do uh, with uh, Marco's always fun in the ring and watch. Uh, and I like the way they use him in limited limited basis on AEW, and hopefully that's what they'll do here. Uh, before we go to thumbs up, thumbs down, I just wanted – I didn't say this. I said it on Twitch, but I didn't say this about uh, Skim Timber – is that the Skimmer Horns are scheduled to be on at least three shows with me. So it'll be fun. It's all fun and games, and we'll have a fun time. Uh, all right, buddy. Thumbs up, thumbs down. We got to do our next week. 
Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. What do you look forward to next week? I got excited because I just listed what I was getting, what I was looking forward to next week. Go ahead. (laughs) Next week, I'm looking forward to that triple threat match. I thought that uh, Gun Show, Mike Anthony, and the champ, Alan Steele, they brought a presence at the end of that show. Like you said earlier, reminded me of uh, that exciting Memphis wrestling format. The yelling, the screaming, the brawl. What's going to happen next week? Will the champ remain victorious? I mean, you got to give it up to Alan Still. He has had just a death grip on that title. And again, he's got friends. I don't know about uh I don't know about the gun show. I don't know about Mike Anthony, about their friends. You know, you gotta look out. You gotta look out for uh, Alan Still and company when that title's on the line. But I'm looking forward to that next week. Me too. Exactly. Uh, Alan Steele has been pinned a couple of times, but not for the belt. They've done a good job putting him over as champ, putting him over as the first champ, being a veteran that he is. And then ever who takes that belt uh, is going to be big time over. We talked about this before when the build since winning the belt in the constant build uh, of the baby face or baby faces uh, or whatever Mike Anthony is. By the way, I, I did not say this in hits, but that Mike Anthony can punch left. And right. Did you see that? He gives yes. you left punches and right punches. That's the kind of guy I wouldn't want to fight in a real fight. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you, you just think you know it's coming, and it comes from the other. Really good with uh, uh, Johnny Dotson was bumping all over the place. But what I'm looking forward to next is the same thing I talked about with Eugene making the matches. The trios match, Eugene and Dotson, and the triple threat will be – that is a great show. That's one of those shows where we already know what's going to be on it, we're super excited. We can't wait till next Saturday. So thumbs up or thumbs down. To me, I'm going to go ahead and give you – I'm giving you a thumbs just right there, like you've been talking about the last two weeks. And why I'm saying that is it was good for what it was. This show was designed to build next week's show. So it did exactly what it was supposed to do. That's why I give it a thumbs up. I thought it was a good, solid build, and I'm looking forward to next week. I think it's going to be explosive. Oh, it, it's it's we know three of the matches. What else will they do? And you know, with like I said, you're going to look at all comedy with Eugene and Dotson. Probably the trios match. You go. I, I loved uh, you cut you cut my hair. You know, I thought that was yeah. hilarious. <laughs> uh, you cut my freaking hair is what. Uh, and then he said something, bro. I was cracking up. Uh, but yeah, the posse's always fun. And then we got Marco uh, Stun in there, and then all the Hollywood. Uh, uh, hey, you know, Hollywood Jimmy said, I hate you, Dustin Starr. I cracked. Oh, I just cracked up. Uh, Hollywood Jimmy has been used like we talked about that one time he comes out. He's so good. You don't. Yeah. Uh, one time per show. Now it's been, that's fine. It's perfect. So, all right, we're going to get off here. We want to thank everyone. Same bad time, same bad channel. Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time on the best little rest of podcast. Then. And us be there. And as everyone knows, I love my mama. Me too.